Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. We are once again going back to that horrible world known as the JRC. But as always, the usual disclaimers. If you are unfamiliar with the Stop the Shocks campaign or the campaign against the troubled teen industry, you're going to find all the pertinent links right there in the description box. Please, in particular, take note of the article written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics. In it, they interviewed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. The Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read that article so much. They threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit. They did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic refused. You know the drill. Please read the article. Share on all your social media. Also included is Neuroclastic's public statement in regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding just in case the JRC ever does see through with their threat. Trigger warning one, when we discuss places like the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center or Agape Boarding School for Boys, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of, catch clips of surveillance footage of people with mental health issues and disabled people being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, please go ahead and utilize your headphones. Trigger warning two, this channel is marked not for kids for a reason. We use profanity on occasion and speak on dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger and they are watching this, very obviously parental supervision is advised. I'm sorry, folks. My back hurts. Ah. All right. We're going to make this short and sweet, hopefully. Famous last words. Comment 42. A comment asserts that PBS is not a state-of-the-art treatment for individuals exhibiting SIB and AB, arguing that PBS is not formally defined by any authoritative professional body and that it has no professional credential or license. Are you on crack? That is a bold-faced lie. That is a bold-faced lie. Positive behavioral reinforcement has been what has been called a part of the gold standard now for decades. Decades. Positive behavioral reinforcement first got off the ground back in the 1980s. So we are talking 80s, 90s, early 2000s, 2010s. Know what I'm saying? Put down the crack pipe. I also know for a fact, JRC, a fact, because like they always like to forget I have actually worked in this field. I know for a fact that those individuals who are the practitioners of positive behavioral reinforcement, the professionals and staff, every last one of them have to be state board certified before they are allowed to work with consumers. You know what that means? That means there is an official board that has to approve their certification before they're even allowed to see a patient, you know, unlike the JRC who puts them on the floor in a week. Me thinks you're projecting, JRC. Me thinks you project a lot. The fact of the matter is, they use PBS, Positive Behavioral Supports. It's positive behavioral reinforcement. It it has literally been the standard since the mid-90s. In fact, it is the majority of the time paired with ABA, uh, the majority of treatment programs in the United States. That's not just a lie. That is a bald-faced lie. It is a matter of fact state-of-the-art treatment. 
The individuals who provide that treatment have to be credentialed before they can even so much as see the face of a potential consumer. The testing that they go through, and I know this because remember, what was my job, kids? I was there on the behalf of the consumer. You really think I was going to let anyone near those kids that was not credentialed? You all know how protective I am of my own. Do you really think I would let any staff member that wasn't credentialed near any of those kids or the adults? Not a chance in hell. Also, it's not state, but it's national law. You see, not everybody gets to skate around the rules and federal laws like you, JRC. Not everybody gets a multitude of mulligans. Okay? Everybody else has to get state accredited before they can so much as see a consumer. In fact, I can tell you from my state, for all its multitude of issues, even make those who become CIs, community integrators, even they have to go through state certification before they're even allowed to see a consumer. Okay, that all the lie. That is such a god damn was that a lie. One that I can very easily tear apart without even busting a sweat or pulling up Google. But if you don't believe me, please go ahead and Google it. All right. Those who provide positive behavioral reinforcement because I refuse to use the bastardized abbreviation that they're using here. Have to be credentialed before they can so much as see a consumer. Okay. That is the standard in every single other state but Massachusetts. The projection is off the charts here. We know from their own materials that staff are let out after only being in training for a single week. People who are a part of positive behavioral reinforcement and provide that treatment have to be credentialed within an inch of their lives and license out the gazoo before they're allowed to see consumers. In fact, even in my job capacity, I had to do a multitude of certifications and licensing before I could start doing my job because JRC, that's how the rest of the world functions. You can't project your bullshit onto somebody else and expect them to buy it when it's so universally known that it is very much the current standard of treatment. We're going to go ahead and close out on that, folks. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So, folks, you know the drill. If you could, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to utilize those comments. I appreciate your time. As always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. And I'll see you again here in a few minutes. Bye-bye, everyone.